Milnack Manor School for the Deaf took their message right to the governor's office here in Albany. On Thursday, March 10th, they met with the 10 other 4201 schools from across the state to protest the proposed budget cuts they say that will devastate their schools. Milnack Manor School Executive Director Dr. Mark Proatsky addressed the crowd. Deaf children, blind children, children with physical disabilities did not cause the budget problem. And with all due respect, Governor, eliminating their support will not fix the problem. about what I call the illusion of inclusion. This idea that everything is okay if we place all children in the same looking classroom is baloney. So we're not going to stop. I was here in 1995 or 6. The last time a governor tried this, right here in this place, didn't work then, it's not going to work now. Milnick Manor student Peter Thiel from Center Reach addressed the crowd. I've attended this school for that for eight years. I feel fine because I can communicate with my teachers, my friends. My parents are hard of hearing, my father is deaf, and, I, and if I went to a hearing school or a public school, it would be hard for me to communicate and with hearing students and with other students, or with sports coaches. I, want, I don't want to go to a public school, so please don't cut the state funds for 4201 schools. If you cut the 4201 school budget, then I won't go to public schools for sure. And I don't, oh, I don't want to drop out. Interpreter, I don't want to drop out. I, I, I want to be successful. And I don't want to be teased by children in public schools. My parents went to 4201 schools, and my parents decided to put me in one, in a 4201 school, because I could understand what my friends or what my teachers were saying to me, and I could communicate with my friends and teachers as well. It's great for me to go to a 4201 school because I, can, I don't have to communicate with an interpreter in a three-way party to communicate with friends. I prefer to communicate directly to my teachers and friends. And student Amanda Sauerland shared her thoughts as well. I'm in the ninth grade of Elmlet School for the Deaf. My parents are deaf and they both graduated from 4201 school. years. And many of the kids insulted me, made fun of me, and I didn't even know what they were saying. They wanted to learn ASL, but they really didn't want to be my friend. And I felt very bad. My, there were lots of kids. I'd have to sit in the front of the classroom, right across from the teacher. And then I had an interpreter who said everything the teacher said, but I didn't interact with any of the other students. I felt like a third wheel. And you know, the teachers in hearing schools talk fast, they use language I don't understand, I can't participate, I can't communicate, I have to go through an interpreter. I feel like, you know, I didn't want to go to school. I knew I was in the wrong place. Then I went to Milnick. Things got so much better because everybody was just like me. I was on equal footing. I got, I'm on the honor roll at Milnick, but that was impossible for me in a public school. I was overwhelmed, and I couldn't get attention, and I struggled. I decided to quit. I 
I don't want to go to another Main Street school and have another bad experience. I'm getting a great education from my teachers who sign. I have wonderful socialization opportunities. And I don't feel like a third field. I am comfortable and I socialize more at Milnick than I ever could at a hearing school. It's not three-way communication. I don't have to use an interpreter. And I have close friends in the 4201 Association. And now I'm friends with other friends who introduced me to other deaf friends in the deaf community. 4201 schools are the strong part of the deaf community. Several state representatives joined the rally to share their support, including State Assemblyman Charles Levine. Democracy means we stand up for community. Community means everybody lives together, everybody takes care of each other. We take care of you and you take care of us. Your being here today sends a powerful and persuasive message to all of us in government. Whether we're in the Assembly, whether we're in the Senate, or whether we are in the govern governor's office, that we need to honor an obligation that's now two centuries old. The 4201 schools have served us for that long, and we want to make sure we serve us for at least another two centuries. After the inside speeches, the group went outside to go across the street from the governor's office to shout their message loud and clear. The group was able to set up a meeting between the school superintendents and members of the governor's staff. The issue of funding, however, still remains unresolved. They are asking anyone who would like to help out to sign their online petition and contact their local state representatives. For more information on how you can help out, you can check out milnec.org. In Albany, Chris Kalar reporting.